Hello guys and welcome back to the FE exam review series where I cover the most common FE problems that you need to know to pass your FE exam. In today's video, we'll be covering a mechanics of materials section problem, specifically under part D, more circle. So let's dive in. Oh yeah, now, if you're currently studying for your FE exam, let us know in the comments below which FE you're preparing for. All right, now let's go over the question. So a plane element in a body is subjected to a normal and shear stresses as shown. And we want to determine the maximum in plane shear stress in KSI. So the first thing I recommend that you guys do is go to the reference manual and look for the equation for the maximum in place shear stress. The equation is given to you guys under mechanics of materials. You can also search for it and you'll easily find that equation. Now, the other thing that I recommend that you guys do is take a look at the 2D stress element that is also provided to you guys on the reference manual. And keep in mind that all the normal and shear stresses that are shown in that 2D element are in the positive direction. So take a look at that. Take a look at what's giving to you guys here. Compare the two before you start plugging the numbers into the equation. So with that, why don't you guys pause this video, give it a try, make sure that you guys try these problems, attempt them, because that's how you're going to learn from your mistakes and then come back to check your solution. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Now, if you guys find this problem helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. And also make sure to download this cheat sheet here that has very important equations and concepts that you need to know for your FE exam. Now let's go ahead and solve this problem. So as I mentioned before, the first thing we're going to do is go to the reference manual and take a look at the equation. OK, so if you guys actually type in maximum in plane shear stress, it will take you to this page here, which is under mechanics of materials. And here it says that the maximum in plane shear stress is equal to R, where R is the radius. Now, the radius equation is provided to you guys here. OK, so it's in the previous page. And so this is the equation that we're going to use to find the maximum in plane shear stress. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this 2D stress element that is provided to us here, and then we're going to compare it to the one that we have in the problem. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, let's go ahead and compare these two pictures, OK? Let's first start with the shear stress. So notice, guys, here that the shear stress is going in the same direction as what was given to us in the problem, OK? So which means that shear here is going to be equal to 4. Now, if we take a look at the normal stress in the y direction, okay, note guys that in this picture here, it's shown that the sigma y is positive when it's in tension, right? And then here in the problem, we were giving sigma y in compression, which means that sigma y is going to be equal to minus 12, okay? Very important for you guys to remember this, because as I mentioned in the intro video, this picture here shows the normal and shear stresses in the positive direction, which means that if we have anything opposite of that, right, we're going to have a negative value. Now, same thing with the normal stress in the x direction. So sigma x here, positive, it's when it's in tension, right? If we take a look at the, our problem, we have sigma x in compression, which means it's going to be minus 8. Now let's go ahead and plug in the numbers into the equation. So first we have sigma x, which is minus 8. Then we're going to have minus sigma y, which is minus 12. Then we're going to divide this term here by 2, and then we're going to square this term. Then we're going to have plus the shear stress, which is 4 squared. And then we're going to take the square root of this whole term. Now, if you guys plug in these numbers in your calculator, you're going to get about 4. So now if we take a look at the multiple choice, the answer is going to be A. Now, the next problem that we're going to cover is going to be about the maximum bending stress. So make sure that you guys subscribe so you don't miss it. Now, if you are currently studying for your FE exam and you want to pass your FE exam faster or you want to pass your FE exam in 2023, make sure to check out our courses where we cover everything that you need to pass your FE exam. Now, you can find out more about our courses at jennyprep.com. And before you go, make sure to check out this playlist here that has over 100 FE problems that will help you with your FE preparation. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great productive week and I will see you guys on the next video. À la prochaine. Oh, yeah.